Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is part 3, this is how to make a game like Super Power Training Simulator. Sorry for any background noise. This video might be a little short because we're doing not th too much. So let's start this. So first we're going to make our psychic tool and starter pack. You want to duplicate one of the punch tools, pressing or selecting it, doing control D or right clicking it and pressing duplicate. Rename it, I'm going to name it meditate. Then you want to go into the script. What you want to do is you want to remove this middle line if you have already finished this part. If you haven't, you want to go back into the episodes. Pretty sure it's the first one and we do this. Now we're going to do, or actually, in fact, remove this entire part. We're going to do script.parent.equipped connect function. Basically, when the player is equipped, like while this is equipped, it'll do something. So then we're going to do while wait and make a delay for how much you want them to wait every second until they gain their stats 1.5 do now we need to make our leader stats so in server script service press a little down arrow go into lead stats under your stats tab or if you haven't made it just go to the bottom we're gonna do local psychic equals instance dot new int value and we're gonna put in the player psychic dot name equals psychic and the default value will equal zero or that's in the usual games stuff so we're making a new value in the player and we're naming it psychic we're giving it a value of zero to start off with now head back to your tools script we're gonna do player dot psychic dot value equals player dot psychic dot value plus and then however much you want them to get added by now go back into your leader stat script we're gonna make the multiplier so in under the multipliers tab if you did it organizing or, or if you didn't just go at the bottom we're gonna do local psych multiplier equals instance dot new int value player psychic value or psychic multi dot value equals one because if it's zero you'll be multiplying your number times zero so you'll gain nothing then the multiplier's name equals multiplier like that now go back to your tool script and we're going to do times player dot their the multiplier name and then value so now if we look well we should actually first do our gui so what you want to do is start a GUI. You want to open up your add main. You want to open up your toggle. Now you want to copy this first coordinate. Then you want to go to statistics shadow. You want to go to position. You want to paste it in there so we can see this. Now something that we can do is we can just duplicate the show strength, strength one. And we can drag it up. So you want to select everything that includes the strength. You want to control D or right click and duplicate and then just drag it up. Just position it. Then you can change the background color of them. I'm going to make mine a more purple color for a psychic. I just feel like it looks nice. Now you want to rename them. This is going to be add psychic multiplier. And this one will be show psychic and then show psychic multi all right and we're just going to change this text to say psychic all right so now we're in this text that says show psychic we're going to go into the local script and change player dot strength dot value to player dot psychic the value and you can change the word strength to psychic now we're going to set up the multiplier so you want to copy one of your endurance or strength verify frames so just control d rename it to psychic verify then we're going to go and we're going to make it transparency to or actually we're just going we're going to make it visible to true now we're going to open it up we're going to go into our yes button and we're going to open up the local script now we're going to keep 
cost the same we're gonna change everything that says end multiplier or strength multiplier to psychic multiplier so you want to just quickly do that let's change every word that says endurance or strength to psychic it shouldn't be too many words it should look like this in the end then in the no button you want to open it up just gonna check this we're gonna change endurance verify to psychic verify now we're gonna select the verify frame we're gonna make it visible false now we're going to select the show psychic multiplier we're gonna go into it and we're going to change strength multi to psychic multi now this should be it there might be extra that I have missed you want to now go back to your toggle you want to go into local script copy this and change this position to the bottom one that you copied all right if i have done everything properly this should ev be everything we must change so we're just going to let this game load up just going to wait a little bit all right so we have our meditation tool so we're going to open this all right so now if we meditate oh we should fix that we should all right Let's just check if that works. Let's change our psychic multiplier value, or actually our currency. Just gonna change that and see. Ah, so this changes the strength multiplier or the endurance multiplier instead of the psychic. So you'd only be gaining strength more from that. So let's just quickly fix this. Once again, I'm very sorry for the background noise going to lower the microphone sound just so your ears can be spared I hope it lowered so we're going to go into statistics shadow now we must go into the actual sp psychic verify go to the yes button then we should be able to change oh uh, we must change actually the add a psychic multiplier button to change and change it from strength verify to psychic verify i'm going to do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot strength verify dot visible equals false and then you want to go to the rest of the buttons and, and these you want to make the psychic verify to false so psychic verify dot visible equals false you can just copy this line go to the rest go down and paste it in so that should have fixed that one problem with the multipliers changing now we're going to fix the psychic tool or the meditate tool so what we're going to do we're going to make a local local medi meditating equals false so then when it's when it's equipped we're going to make meditating equals true i'm going to do if meditating equals true then We'll put an end. Oh, equals equals true. Then we're gonna do script dot parent dot unequipped connect function meditating equals false. So this should fix it up for us. If not, then we'll do a little extra to make sure that it will work. Again, sorry for the background noise, it's kind of annoying. So, as you can see, if we get some currency, so let me just change my currency value. If we upgrade psychic, yes, it changes that. Now let's meditate. Alright, we're getting four. You can upgrade or multiplier. Oh, I don't have enough. Now, if we stop meditating, ah, it's still increasing. Alright, so we're going to have to make a loop check. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a while wait do. We're going to remove that. And we're going to put it after the meditating goes true. We're going to do while wait and then your delay. Then, or I mean do. And you want to input your end. 
so it should look like this. I'll give you a second to see what has happened. We're just making a loop that's checking if meditating is true. Alright. Now this should fix it. If not, I'll cut the video until I actually figure out what the problem is. Again, I will not always do things on the first try. Alright, so we open up the frame. We meditate. We should get a one. We stop meditating. And there we go. We are no longer gaining anything from meditating. We can push up. Oops. We can get strength. And we can meditate again. It'll just continue going up. And then it'll stop. And then we can continue it. I do see a little glitch. I think that's a glitch. And as you can see, we slowly gain our money and we can increase our multiplier. This video is a lot shorter than the rest, but this is just to get rid of the meditation tool from what we've got to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was nice to follow along and goodbye.